What's happening guys? Welcome to another episode. I ah, I hope your day is going a hell of a lot better than mine. That's reverse. Um, okay, so we're on our way slash I'm on my way to go get the windows tinted on the Mini. Olivia, my girlfriend and I uh, dropped off the Mini last night so that I would have a car to drive today. So it's there, I started it up, I drove it there, everything was fine, I got a lot of work done yesterday as you guys saw in the previous video. Um, but we had an issue once we dropped it off. So once we brought it to the tent place, I parked it and I wanted to just, I forgot to close the sunroof. So I went to go turn the car back on and it wouldn't start. So, flat battery. Now I don't think it's because the battery's actually dead because I put a new one in not too long ago. I think it's because I didn't tune the car slash change it. Um, to let the computer know that there's a different battery in it. So I think the alternator is giving it an improper charge. So I'm just pulling into Insult Tint, same place as last time, same place as every other time to get my windows done. Um, I had to go home, I not only feel sick, I don't know if you guys can tell from my voice, but um, there's that, and I also had to go home to go pick up the Accord, um, which I needed the battery charger um, so I could charge the Mini, hopefully get it fired up and then bring it into the tent shop. I hope that all makes sense. Guys, what a friggin' morning. All right, so we got the Genius battery charger, started up the Mini, saving the day once again. So there's that. I bought a case for it since the last time you guys saw the video about the battery charger, but um, they can now bring the Mini into their shop, which means they can tint the windows. Woo, good times. So right now, the Mini is in the shop. I have no window tint on the car. If you guys haven't seen the comparison where I showed you guys the difference between the carbon and then the infrared ceramic tint, there's going to be a link to the video in the description box. Definitely check that out because I'm going to be getting ceramic tint on the Mini all around. So I'm going to be going with 10% on the front windows and the back ones, and then I'm going to be getting 70% up front. So all of that infrared heat and light that's going to be coming from the sun isn't going to be able to penetrate into the car as easily, which means the interior is going to be a heck of a lot colder on those nice sunny days. So I'm gonna let them do their thing, I'm not gonna get in their way, and uh, after they're done, we're gonna be able to show you guys the difference. So I wanna talk about something. Now the reason why I bring my car specifically to this window tinting place is because of one main reason. So the tint that they use isn't garbage quality, it's not some cheap no-name tint that you'll find online or on eBay or anything like that. This is high quality stuff that won't fade over time. Now. Why am I telling you this? Why is that so important? So I brought my Accord to get my windows tinted at a different shop uh, years ago. Now, I am seeing what happens when you buy a cheap tint and what that does to the car. So right now, this tint right here isn't exactly the same grade tint as it used to be because it degraded over time. So this originally was a 15% tint. It was 15% all around, and now that this is essentially five years old, give or take, um, and it's been outside, it's been in the sun, the tint has actually broken down, and it's, well, not very tinted at all. You can see a lot through it. Now take a look at the top right here. Top part of the tint right here, this little bit, when the window is all the way up, it's actually inside the door frame right here, and it's not exposed to the UV light. Now take a look at the difference in color from this line here to down here. There's a really big difference, which means all of this tint that's been exposed has degraded, and now, it's, well, it's not dark at all. Now, the tint that I have on the Accord needs to be replaced, because you can see right through it, even though you shouldn't really be able to. That same kind of thing doesn't happen if you guys use a carbon or a ceramic tint. Now, that fading only really happens whenever you use a cheap dye tint. So, the tint that I have on the Z right here is not going to do that. And take a guess where I got this tinted. You know what? Insult tint. Now that's why I bring my cars only to them. So these guys do great tinting and PPF work. The greatest stuff that I've seen in this area by a long shot. They work on Ferraris, Lambos, like any high-end car, you name it. Even regular cars that are purchased from the dealership. So if you get tint as an option, or even let's say the front edge of your car PPF'd, they will send all of their stuff out to these guys here in St. Catharines. You guys can count on this kind of stuff to actually last a long time and it look great. So inside the shop with the Mini, they're actually working on some pretty sick stuff. So they've got a Mercedes in there that is a Mercedes AMG GTR Pro. Insanely nice car and they're doing full PPF on the whole front end of the car. They do tint on countless cars and they do PPF on even more than that. I didn't realize how much uh, PPF is in until I went to these guys. More than 50% of the stuff that they do is PPF. If you guys wanna get the high impact areas of your car done, like the bumper, or the leading part of the hood, or fenders, mirrors, 
the cups back here for the door. They will do all of that stuff. And even if you want to do even more than that, they can do it. They have skins. They have machines that can do any kind of panel that you want. If you want to do the entire door, no problem. If you want to do the entire rear quarter and A to C pillar section along with down here, they have a skin for it. They can do almost everything. If there's a skin available, they can get it custom cut and they can protect your paint and make it look flawless. Now, the really nice thing about the PPF2 is that it is virtually undetectable. You have to go right up to the PPF to actually find it. But even if you step back from here, if I didn't tell you that this was PPF'd, you wouldn't visually be able to tell that there's any difference. All right, so we're in the shop. The Mini is not quite done yet, so they're gonna be installing the front windshield tint right now. Now, I opted for a 10% just like I have on the, uh, on the Z and just like Luca has on his FRS. So we've got 10 on all the sides, 10 up front. Should look pretty good. Um, I did have to take off the wink mirror up front because it was going to be an issue for installing this new windshield, uh, the tint, uh, but let's get started. So when they're doing the tinting on the windshield, they're starting off with cleaning the entire thing down. They want to make sure that there's no dirt, no dust, no debris, no anything that's on the glass because that will affect how the tint lays down onto the windshield. Once that's done, they're going to bring the new piece of tint, whether it be ceramic, whether it be carbon, whether it be whatever, and also whatever kind of gradient, whatever it is, they're going to bring that now into the car. They're going to set it up in there and they're going to squeegee it all out and make it look perfect. So they can make it so that the look of the tint is absolutely flawless and only if I told you that this was tinted, you could tell that this was tinted indeed because you can still see everything on the inside nicely. So this here is a 70% and you guys can go darker if you want, but I would not recommend that for the windshield. For the side windows, yeah, go for it by all means, but for the windshield, I would leave it with the lightest tint possible, just so that the UV rays and the heat that's coming from the sun is going to penetrate into the car and cook the interior. If you're worried about your dash, this is an amazing way to protect it. So after everything's all said and done, they were able to knock out all the windows, all tinted up, and it looks mint. Car's looking pretty damn good if you guys ask me. Almost ready for H2O. If you guys want to find any more information about Insul Tint, literally the only place I'll bring my cars to get tinted, um, there's going to be more information in the description box. Mini looks killer, turned out good. Um, now, a couple things. Let me first mention to you guys. If you guys do get your windows tinted, you cannot put your windows down or up or move them or whatever for a couple days at least. So when they put the tint on, you guys saw that they put it on wet. Now all of that water slash moisture, whatever, it needs to evacuate and uh, evaporate from inside the tint and it needs to gas out. So that means that you can't move it up and down because that water is still in there. And if you do move it up and down, the tint may actually shift from the glass. So it's just something that you guys need to keep in mind. On another thing, you guys do need to use a glass safe or a tint safe glass cleaner. The cleaner that I will be telling you guys what to use is safe on glass, it's safe on a tint, it's safe on headlights. I wouldn't necessarily do it on headlights. Um, there is better stuff for that. Um, but if you guys purchase some invisible glass, it's an ammonia free cleaner. It's going to be able to make it so that your tint isn't going to delaminate like my old tint did. So this should last a super long time. If you guys have more questions about the products or whatever, comment section is down there. You guys know what to do. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.